Graphs are a powerful way to visualize procedural assets, but at some point they can start to resemble a bowl of spaghetti and become a little difficult to read. Fortunately, in Rail Clone 6, there's a way to make your graphs much easier to understand using link nodes. To use a link node to create branches, simply drag one from the bottom of the items list to a wire. You can then move the node to the desired location and connect it to other nodes as needed. You can choose from two different node styles, either full to display the usual node format or simplified to show a minimal version. Now this is where it gets interesting. If you wire two link nodes to the same wire, you can then choose how the wire is displayed between them. You have three options, either the default solid display, a dashed line, or to really clean up your graphs, a hidden option which only shows the wire when the node is selected. For simpler changes to wires, where you don't require branching or changing the display style, you can now simply double click anywhere along a wire to add a new reroute anchor. Reroute nodes are just for adjusting the path of the spline, so they have a single input and output. By using link nodes and reroute anchors, you can make your graphs much, much easier to read and understand, as you can see here. So go ahead and give it a try today, and don't forget to subscribe to stay informed about all our new videos, live streams, and tutorials.